Hi, thanks for tuning in. Today I want to do a quick beauty related video. It's the Sephora Spring Sale and I picked up a few items that I wanted to share. A lot of the items are really similar from what I picked up last time, so I wasn't really planning on doing a video, but I asked on Instagram and the majority asked for a YouTube video rather than Instagram stories, so here I am. I'm just going to run through the items really quickly, and then I also have some additional pieces that I picked up. I think some of them are available on Sephora, some of them are available elsewhere that I also wanted to share since they are beauty pieces that I like. So the main thing that I do every Sephora sale time is stock up on items that I always use. The main thing I pick up during the Sephora sale is the SK2 Essence. I never knew they made this size, but this is in like a jumbo 330 milliliter size, which is 11 fluid ounces. And this is by far the largest size that I've ever gotten of this, but I use it a lot. <laughs> I use it every day. My boyfriend also uses it. So figured we would just pick up a very large size or the largest size that is available. I usually get the 230 milliliter. That's the other large size that they make. Um, but I saw they had an even larger one and it was 20% off. So it was a better like per milliliter cost <laughs> to get the larger size than it was to pick up the same one that I always get. This is the only style that comes with a pump as well. The other ones are all a uh, screw top that you kind of shake out. I'm intrigued by the pump. I, I don't know how I will get along with it since I got so used to just like shaking some of the essence out onto my hands. But I'll report back once I actually start using this. The other thing I like about this pump is I plan on using it to refill a smaller glass bottle that I have for when I travel. I've been reserving the small bottle solely for travel purposes and now that I have this pump version, I don't feel like I have to buy the smaller size again. I'll just refill it so that I have some in there for whenever I travel. I've used this for several years now. It is definitely a staple in my skincare routine. The other staple is this Amore Pacific Moisture Bound Rejuvenating Cream. This is the moisturizer that I use for morning and night. It is a very lightweight moisturizer that I like to wear. It's very hydrating. It is still a cream, but it's not a heavy, thick emollient cream. And it's also not uh, super light like a gel. It's somewhere in the middle. That's why I find it to be really well moisturizing for my face. I have somewhat sensitive skin, so I prefer to stick to uh, Korean or Asian skincare. My skin tends to work better with those brands. The last Sephora I picked up was this Lancome Moisturizer. This is the Creme Radiance Gentle Cleansing Creamy Foam Cleanser. And I picked this up for the first time in September. Was the last sale in September or November? I get confused, it's somewhere around there. The last Sephora sale, I picked this up. I can't really say if there's anything that necessarily blows it out of the water compared to other cleansers, but I did like it enough that this time around when the sale was rolling, cause I'm starting to run low on this one, I thought I would pick up a new one. What I do like though, is that a little goes a long way and it does, kind of foam up really easily and it leaves my skin feeling clean and fresh but not overly strict. I do need to pick up a more exfoliating cleanser so if you have any recommendations please let me know down below because I'm in the market to try a new one. So those three are the only items that I picked up from the actual Sephora sale. I didn't even wait that long but by the time I got to order the first day the sale opened, that was already out of stock. I have this weird feeling that I feel like Sephora didn't have a lot of inventory to do this sale this time around. Probably with everything going on, the logistics and distribution of their products like didn't quite make it or they might have only been working with the inventory they had in the warehouse versus the inventory that they have in the stores and the warehouse. I don't know, but like a lot of things seem like they were sold out really early on in the sale, like things that normally I don't see them sold out. There are a lot of additional beauty bits that I've recently picked up. One of them is actually a toner. So this is the Sonnen Park Beauty Water. This was part of Rochelle's, I think, February favorites. She mentioned it and it happened to coincide with my toner running low anyway. I wanted a toner that was a little bit lighter so that it wasn't as moisturizing or emollient on my skin. Rochelle was really raving about this toner, so I figured I would pick it up. I actually found it on Walmart. 
I wasn't expecting to find it on Walmart, honestly. I thought I would have to purchase from like Yes Style or one of those Korean cosmetics websites, but uh, they had it at Walmart, so I picked it up from there, and I'm very excited to try this out. Then the other items that you see on my little table display here are actually from Nordstrom. I went on Nordstrom because I needed to purchase a new soap and then it led to buying some other things while I was there. I typically use the Aesop Resurrection Soap. This is, or sorry, Resurrection Aromatique Hand Wash. I, I just called it soap. That was, that was terrible, how could I? It's not that easy to find in stores. Even if Nordstrom or Neiman's like had Aesop on their website, they wouldn't have a, a store presence. Saks Fifth Avenue is the only place that I physically remember having an Aesop store. The Oculus also has an Aesop store. Those are the two, I'm sure Aesop has other stores like standalone boutiques, but um, those are the two places that I know they exist within a larger kind of shopping complex. So sometimes it would get difficult to actually pick this up. So I went on the Nordstrom website to get a new one. You know, hand washing is really important. Um, plus we were starting to run low on this. They didn't have it on the website. They had the rest of the Aesop line, but they didn't have the soap. I presume that was because they sold out of the soap. I've gone through bottles of this now because I, this is the main soap that I, hand soap that I use, but uh, I figured that I would just try something new. So that leads me to this. This is terrible. It's French, so I'm going to write it down below and I'm not going to attempt to really pronounce it. Uh, but it's like a liquid soap, but it's the white tea line. It comes in a glass bottle, which I thought was very nice. And I also can't lie, I really loved the aesthetic of the label and like the design on the front. I felt like it looked really clean and really fresh for the bathroom. I typically like white tea scents, so I am looking forward to starting to use this one. I like recycle these glass bottles for other things. I tend to then end up using them for vases around my home, so I look forward to doing that too. That's also nice to give as like a gift, just given the general presentation of it. I also recommend the Aesop soap. If you are interested and you want to try it out, I definitely recommend it. It's really nice to have. The scent is very subtle. It's not overly stripping. Um, so it's a really great soap to use for day to day. The other two items to go through are hair care items. The first I'll touch upon is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. Started using this last year. I think it is a great hair product in the sense that it gives you very light volume and additional texture on your just washed hair so that you're able to maneuver it a little bit more or put it into like a messy bun with just washed hair. So I think this, it works really well for adding that additional texture so that you're able to get that kind of messy, tousled, nonchalant hairstyle, you know, when really you you tried a lot. You put in a lot of effort to make it look that way. So I really like this, but I do not really like the price tag that comes along with it. I use it so somewhat sparingly, like I won't use it just any day or every day. I was cleaning out my bathroom area and I found this way texturizing hairspray. I purchased this a long time ago. I think they sell this on Sephora as well. If not, they should sell it on Ulta's website. I had this just in my bathroom and I thought I would just give it a shot because why not? I mean, I was running low on my existing texturizing spray. I'm not really going out anywhere, so why waste like wonderful products on hair that's not really going to see the light of day. So I actually started using this again. I remember not liking it very much when I first got it. I think it didn't do enough for my very, very long hair. But since my hair is a lot shorter, I use it now. I interchange it with the dry texturizing spray. It's a lot more fragrant, I feel like, than the Orbe product, but it eventually it kind of dissipates and it's gone so it's not like I really smell it in my hair right now. It's pretty good. I think it it does a great job of adding some additional texture. It's not exactly like the Orbe. I don't think it's quite the same but if I remember correctly I don't think this costs as much as the Orbe product and it is something that does a very good job at least of adding some additional texture and like holding some of my curl so that's what i like to use this one for and last but not least is a curl cream because my hair is shorter now i 
try to use a cold cream to make sure my curls can stay a little bit more defined. I wasn't particularly married to the one that I was using before. I was pretty much just trying to use it up. I figured I would try something new and while I was on the Nordstrom website, I saw the RN Co Turntable Curl Defining Cream. I actually really like this product. It is very, very, very light. It has a light citrus smell to it too, almost like a like a lemon cake smell. It's very light in the sense that after it's in my hair, I almost don't feel it. I mean, I've used cold creams where they're still very light. I don't like that crunchy feel in my hair, but you know, you can still kind of feel that it's there. This is like, it's gone. After it's in your hair and after you dry your hair, if you touched your hair, it felt like there's almost nothing there. It still does define your curls and keep them a little bit bouncier for, for longer than if I didn't put any product in my hair. Right now, my hair has more crunch from the Whey spray than it does from this. Because if I'm not filming or I'm not going anywhere, I will just put a little bit of this in my hair, dry it, and then move on with my life. So every other time I touch my hair, it's like I, it's like I never put any product in it. So it's pretty amazing how it just disappears like that. I really like that about it. The scent is also a little bit strong. It doesn't linger throughout the day necessarily, but it's pretty strong the first time I apply it. So if you're really sensitive to scents and you don't like scents mixing, then you might want to avoid this product, but otherwise it doesn't linger. So it might not be that big of a deal for most people. All right, so that is everything from a beauty perspective. I know some of these products are a repeat from before and that's just because if something works, I tend to stick with that product for a while. So I hope you still found this helpful. Again, if you have any like facial exfoliant, recommendations or if you have any makeup setting spray recommendations i am all ears for those because i'm in the market for both of those products so let me know in the comments down below and i will definitely check out your recommendations but otherwise if you have any questions on any of these items or really anything at all please leave them down below or head on over to instagram and i'd be happy to help however i can if you like this content please give me a thumbs up i really appreciate all of your feedback and support if you haven't already please follow me on instagram I have started a new mini project slash series where I am grouping a lot of my photos based on a color theme. It's more just to shift your perspective on really everyday items that are laying around in your home or in your space around you and just being able to see them in a different light. I'd love if you can check it out and let me know your thoughts. And of course, if you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Sunday. So until next time, 